Everything in life is touched by digital magic. I'm Florin Mureshan and I brought digital magic into the world through 29 products I've built and sold in over 100 countries around the globe. I'm here to show you how you can make your own digital magic happen by reskilling to generative AI technologies. Will I lose my job to AI? That's what we will cover in this audio course. Some of you will lose your jobs and some of you won't. However, those of you who are joining the brand new AI courses on Education Cloud Plus have an almost zero chance of losing your jobs to AI. But of course, as you will learn, your jobs might change, which is why you won't lose them. AI will also create more jobs than it will kill. To help you understand the entire shift, I'm going to start presenting the vision that I have for you and the future of work. Lesson 1. The Rise of Digital Assistants Back in 2010, I was still a student at a prestigious technical university. And I also started my first startup after having had the pleasure of working with over 500 small and medium-sized businesses. To say I was an overachiever would be to stress out the obvious. I was very much an overachiever. Technology had given me powers that to do things I didn't even think possible for myself. Because I loved technology so much and I saw what it could do for me, and for all my business clients prior to 2010, I wanted to start my own company. A big dreamer like me doesn't simply start a company. I wouldn't want to start just any company. Just as one doesn't simply walk into Mordor, a real startup founder doesn't simply start a company without having a clear aim and a vision of the change they want to see in the world. Don't worry you'll soon find out how all this ties back to you very, very soon. So keep listening. Those 500 business clients all had a very similar problem, getting their company noticed, bringing clients to their doors. I could tell you a very long story about it, but I can do much better with a simple example. A company like Facebook could have been the answer to their problem. But back in 2010, instead of finding ways to help business owners get their companies on the map, Facebook was solely oriented at keeping them trapped well within Facebook, manipulating their minds to spend more time inside the platform. Facebook was not the only company aiming for this goal, and this isn't the only example that I have because this was very much a recurring theme in the world of software that was being shipped in 2010. I vowed to myself that I would create software that would help, serve, and enhance human beings instead of enslaving them. It was a big paradigm shift. Everyone was building software with the sole purpose of getting users to spend as much time as possible inside the software, thus taking control over their minds and their lives. Humans were becoming very much like the batteries from the Matrix series of movies. Some of my friends and I vowed that the software we will create will be liberating and that the purpose of products coming out of our companies was to assist human beings and give them superpowers so they could achieve more. Instead of technology that will enslave, build technology that will assist. Let me tell you, at that point in time, very few people believed me. Especially because assisting people to get through mundane tasks and to assist humans to achieve more was directly tied to artificial intelligence and advanced algorithms. Back then, nobody believed AI will be a thing. Well, 2023 proved everyone wrong, right? I wrote my paper on the future of interactions on the web in 2010, and I predicted the rise of AI and digital assistants in that paper. 
I've been building digital assistants ever since. It's part of the digital magic that I bring with every single product that I release into the world. Even Education Cloud Plus, the platform you're using to learn right now, has a digital assistant embedded into it. From 2010 and until now, I spoke about the joy and the wonder of creating digital assistants at many conferences around the world, presenting their positive aspects and the positive outcomes they have for humans. Mentoring so many startup teams over the years has placed me in a position where I've helped other companies develop their very own assistants, whether it was assistants that helped their internal teams or assistants that helped their customers achieve more. And I'm happy that AI came along because now the tide has completely, utterly and finally turned to my favor and we're seeing an unusual amount of companies switching over to creating AI-powered digital assistants. To say it's a dream come true would be an understatement. It will be a dream come true for you as well, very, very soon. Once you stop seeing AI as an oppressor and as a replacer, you will begin to understand how you can use its assistance to be better at your job, change or enhance your job, or create a completely new job for yourself. AI will be your assistant and it will help you do more than you thought was possible. And now this, for the future of work, you will get more AI-powered digital assistants than ever before, and they won't be solely created by the Squirly company. You'll have many options available for many different companies. And with these 10 brand new AI courses from Education Cloud Plus, you will learn how you will turn ChatGPT into your private digital assistant to help you get things done. To work a better job, to enhance your job, to move towards a much more creative and fun job, to remove menial and boring aspects of your job, to help you shine brighter than ever before.